It's got to come king, king, Vince, or five, five to get the split. Nothing else will do. But he catches the king. This is not over. David looks sick in there. So let's take a look at the chip count. David Paredes from Brookline, Massachusetts, well out in front with 19 million. Joe Keith are in second with 9.2 million. Jim Gilbert sitting in third place right now with 2.5 million. First place, 723,000. And 25 blinds are one and 200,000. Let's do this. Action's going to Jim Gilbert, a local out of Pennsylvania. He came to this final table as the big chip leader and had it most all the way until the last pot where he just doubled up David Paredes. And David's going to raise it out of the small blind with King Five of Diamonds. Joe Keither, one of the most consistent, toughest players in the world, makes the call out of the big blind. And the flop is a King Five Four that gives two pair for David Paredes, our chip leader. He's going to lead right out and bet 625,000. Joe, of course, nowhere near connecting on that flop, gives it up. David Paredes extends his chip lead. The newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24 seven with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today with this QR code and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Jim has picked up the weapons of mass destruction, pair of aces. All in. Goes all in with it. David out. Joe with a pair of threes. Two point five, fifty-five. Call. Joe's gonna make this call. I'm a little surprised at that. It's another 2.3 something million for him to make this call. He knows the best position he can be in is in a race. Then he's gotta try to win it, but. I'm not sure Joe's going to be happy with himself for making this call. All right, let's go to the well, maybe he feels lucky. Will he be here? Not there. It's a deuce, deuce king. Jim Gilbert and the aces out in front. Yeah, Jim breaking into a little grin right there. No one is way out in front right now. Going to the turn. There's no three there. It's a six. So Jim. The local, 27 years old, with a chance of doubling up now. Just got to sweat one more card. Here it comes. Well, that's a 10 on the river. He's safe. And Vince, I don't think Joe Keith has made a bobble at this final table until possibly that play where some might think it's a little bobble, including me. So Jim Gilbert doubling up to get back in the hunt here. Jim Gilbert's cards. Three king. Man, he's going to make a button raise here. Right, he makes it to 450. David goes out. Joe Keither has an ace, five of hearts. Makes the call. And yeah, flop is nine, four, three. So Jim gets a piece of that. Joe is checked. Jim's got bottom pair. He's gonna bet. 450,000 and Joe with the gut shot straight draw. He's going to make the call. Going to the turn. Well, an ace oh, comes off. Wow. Joe now has the best hand with two aces, as well as the straight draw. He checks. And Jim wisely checks right behind him. But now a king comes off, giving Jim two pair and the best hand. Yes, there's three diamonds out there, but Joe is betting this hand for value right here, folks. He thinks the two aces are the best hand to where this betting's gone. And Jim, just when you thought you were giving up on your hand, you make something work there. Well, he's definitely going to call. We're not going to raise with three diamonds out there, but you do make the call. And he's going to win the pot with two pair. And Joe takes a big swallow right there. He knows he was out drawn on the river. Well, Jim Gilbert needed a big break, and he's getting it right there. He's coming back. Blinds are still one and 200. Action on Joe. This time looks down at a pretty solid king jack of diamonds. He is going to raise it. 
to 400,000 and now Jim has an A6 staring his man Joe down and he just got lucky in beating the last pot on the river so he's going to three bet right here to 1.1 million David gets out of the way but Joe's going to make the call and look at a flop so same two guys battling it out Jim in front with a six up against King Jack of Diamonds. And flop 10, 9, 5. Action's on Jim. He's going to check the ace high. Joe with the gut shot straight. Checks right behind him. Now a deuce comes off. Jim out in front with an ace high. He's going to check. Neither player has a piece of this, but Joe is going to take a plunge here. Well, Vancey's saying the guy checked twice in a row to me. Looks like he just got ace high. Let me bet this hand see what happens. 800,000. Just tough to call with ace six in this spot. Jim lays it down, so nice bet on the turn there by Joe Keither. Wins him the pot. But action's on Jim Gilbert. He's got the button. He's got a strong ace jack of spades. All in. There you go. Well, he is going all in with it. Let's see if he gets action. David out. And Joe with pretty strong ace nine. Cool. He's making the call. Joe just assumed the chip lead and could just as quickly give it up if he doesn't get lucky here. Well, Vance Ace Jack has been extremely unlucky for Jim Gilbert so far at this final table. He's got broke with it, and he's got broke against it. The flop is an ace 10 5. Beautiful for Jim. Yep, Jim looking good this time with his two aces and a better kicker. Joe just hating that flop. Here we go to the turn. Seven, it is safe for Jim. Well, neither player has a heart in her hand. So Joe must catch a nine on the river. He does so, he'll knock out his man. It'll be heads up, but it's a four, Diamonds. So there you go, Jim Gilbert has battled back from the bottom of the heap, where he now sits in a strong second chip position. <laughs> he was at the top for a long time, now at the bottom. He's battling back, and like that man said, he just won't go away. Cards go to Jim first. He's got just an 8 4. Well, he goes out. David Paredes in a small blind. Looks like he's just going to limp in and call with the King Five of Clubs. Because he just called, Joe going to try to win the pot right here. Might be steaming a little from the last pot, raises it to 800,000 with just an 8-4. So a half million more to David, who calls it with the King Five. And when it comes King Six, Deuce, nice flop for David. He's got top pair and checks. Joe checks right behind him. Now a five comes off. David now has two pair. Joe with the two-way straight draw. David's going to bet 1,250,000. And Joe, he's going to shovel it out, it looks like. He's going to call or is he going to raise? Just makes the call, takes the conservative route against the chip leader. Hoping to hit. And the river card is a six, so Joe does not hit. It's got to be a bit of a scare card for David. David's going to check it. Because that kills his kings and fives. He's now got kings and sixes with a bad kicker. And here comes Joe. Knows he has to bet to win. He's going to try it right here. 1.7 million. And if you're David, you're sick right now. You had kings and fives. Now the best you can do is kings and sixes with no kicker. Your opponent could have a flush. Could have been slow playing a straight. Could have a better king. What you can beat is a bluff. And that's what he's got is a bluff. David Predis is going to win this pot and increase his chip lead. David Paredes, his wife loving that moment. Well, she should love it, Vance. That was a tough call to make. Quick fall by David Paredes. Joe Keith now with a 10-8 of diamonds. All in. Well, he's moving all in here. Call. And Jim is going to call with a six. Joe going to have to get lucky to stay alive in this tournament. So far in this 300 battle, numerous times. The all-in player has stayed alive. 
flop is a six, Jack Deuce. So very good for Jim. Well, two sixes now for Jim. Still out in front. Got to dodge a back door straight, back door flush. And a five of diamonds. Wait, not so fast. Always a sweat. You can now win the pot with a diamond, a 10, or an eight. A lot of outs for yes, Joe. Yes, he does. The six is still a nice favorite to knock out Keither. Down the river we go. And the diamond hits. Oh, man. Deuce of diamonds makes Joe Keith the flush. Nobody will die in this three-handed oh, battle. they That's... won't. Uh, Joe Keither finally cracking a little bit of a smile after hitting the backdoor flush to win that pot to stay alive. He normally is very stoic, stern, all business on the green felt. All right, the blinds are up to two and four hundred. Jim first to act. He's got king five. But he doesn't want to play. David behind him with a pair of eights. David just limps in with two eights. Joe with just a jack seven. He's got the seven come 11, but it's going to check. See the free flop. And here it comes, seven, six, four. So David has the over pair and the straight draw. Joe has got top pair. Could spell trouble for him. Well, David's going to lead out and bet 550,000. It's hard to throw away top pair in this spot when your opponent didn't raise pre-flop. Never going to put him on an over pair here. Now Joe's going to make the call. King of hearts comes off, so now there's three hearts out there. Possible flush, possible straight, and David's seen enough to check. Now let's see what Joe does with two sevens. Feels like they're the best hand, but didn't want to get check raised out of the pot, so he also checks. River card, ace of diamonds, changes nothing. Fear card there, though, for both players. Well, I guess it could go check, check again with that river card. Yeah, David casually checking. They both check. Does go check, check, and David Predis going to win this pot with pocket eights. David, a childhood actor, Vince. He retired at that career when he was eight years old, he said. <laughs> David, 18 million in chips. Former lawyer out in front. <laughs> Action on Keith there. He's got queen four of hearts. And he's going to fold that. And now Jim with an eight seven of clubs. All in. Wow. Wow, Jim going all in here. Taking a stab. David with ace four spades. He likes it. He's going to make this call. Just sense the over bet. He wasn't that strong. Called him with the weak ace. It's the best hand. Let's see if it holds up for David. David with a big opportunity to knock out the local Jim Gilbert right now. And the flop is at eight, five, three. That is good for Jim. He's out flop, David. David wincing over there. Knows he's been out flopped. Now must catch a deuce or an ace to take the lead. There is no safe haven here at Brigada. Going to the turn. It is a six. Good one. Now that means a seven would win the pot for David as well as a deuce or an ace. Deuce. What drama, last card's coming up, it's a five of spades. We still have three left, and we have a new chip leader at the final table. Jim Gilbert has reassumed the chip lead. And Jim was all the way down to two million at one point in this three-handed battle. He has now battled his way back up to nearly 15 million. The like rock, paper, scissors on this table, huh? Oh, that's true. Another game I've lost a lot of money in. <laughs> the newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24 7 with buy in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. 
Sign up today with this QR code and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Big seesaw battle he's been going through. And right now he's got a 9-7 with the button. Yeah, I'm gonna make a button raise there. Makes it 800,000 to go. David goes out, Joe Keith though with an 8-7. Yeah, gonna make the call. The flop is a king jack nine. Okay, Joe's got the gut shot straight drawn checks. Jim's got bottom pair. He bet before the flop, but no, he's not gonna make the continuation bet. Kind of surprising. Very surprising to me. Now six comes off, giving Joe an open end straight draw. See what he's gonna do. And he said the guy didn't bet the flop. He must not have any of that. Let me just try to steal the pot right here. So Joe is gonna bet 1.1 million. And this is the problem. When you don't make the continuation bet, you're at a guess as to what to do. And Jim guessed wrong as he folded there. Got to run away with the tail beneath your legs. Not attractive. If you're going to raise pre-flop with 9-7 offsuits, I think you have to make continuation bets when your opponents check to you. But there'll be a continuation bet here by David, I promise you. He's picked up two aces on the button. Makes it 9-80. And Joe Keith picks up a huge hand as well, ace-king. This could be doomed for Joe Keith or Vince. All in. He's gone all in. Jim out, and of course the insta call. It's automatic, just what we call a cooler in the business. You can't get away from it. In a three-handed poker game, especially when blinds are this high. Give me cover, right? I've got like eight, nine, nine, seven, nine, eight. I like nine, five. It's a good spot. Two guys that have made World Poker Tour final tables, but never champions before. Here comes the flop, and it is a 5-5-9. That is safe for David. Yeah, very safe. Crowd on its feet. That's got to come King King, Vince, or 5-5 five, five to get the split. Nothing else will do. But he catches the king. This is not over. David looks sickened there. Could he possibly hit King King to win this pot? If he does, I'm gonna see this piece of paper. I'll eat it. Oh my oh, God. Oh, always a sweat. Oh, please, I hate paper. Don't make me eat the paper! And the river. I don't have to, it's a queen of hearts. Well, tough luck for Joe Keith. Played so good all night long. Then ran into what we call a cool ace king versus ace king. Joe Keither out tonight in third place. Highly respected in the poker world. You can see why. Unlucky right now. But he's lucky to take home 262,000. Let's go talk to Joe. Well, I mean, I'm obviously feeling a little disappointed. I wanted to win, but, you know, three-handed. We went back and forth quite a bit and, you know, just ran into a cooler in the end and couldn't win. I'll, I'll take a big win any day and, you know, I might not show emotion more than most people, but, you know, I still care just as much and just, you know, trying to do my best. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. Well, David Quinn is in good shape to get that title as right now. He's the chip leader with two left. He has 19.8 million. Jim Gilbert, 11 million. Lines of 200 and 400. Here we go. Action on Jim Gilbert, the 27-year-old. He looks down at an ace deuce. Any ace is a good hand playing heads up poker, and Jim knows that, so he's going to raise this to 1 million. Into David, the former child actor, went to Harvard, now known poker player. He's gonna call with an 8-6 and speculate. Here's the first three. Now flop comes 9-7-4, so David's flopped an open-end straight draw. He's gonna check. And Jim checks right behind him. No continuation bet. A queen changes nothing. What will David do now? Well, he is gonna bet one million and take the pot down. So David staying aggressive. It wins the pot for him. He extends his chip lead. Oh, it's a beautiful thing where you don't have to catch the river card. You just take the pot, just steal away. David just doing so. Back into the action. Jim this time with a pair of eights. Jim's gonna come in for one million. David, on the other hand, with a solid A6. Just calling. 
flop comes 9-7-6. Nice flop for Jim. He's got the best hand and the best draw. Two eights and an open in straight draw. David is checked, bottom pair. Jim's going to bet it, 1.1. David gonna make the call. Fourth street. And the board pair sevens. And David's gonna check. And Jim also checks. River card coming up. And now an ace comes off. Oh no. Giving David the best hand with aces up. Now David's going to check. Jim checks behind him. Oh. Well, there you see the agony of Jim right there as he knows he got outdrawn on the river to lose that pot. David Paredes and his wife, Caitlin, enjoying the moment. Can he close this out and take home his first WPT championship at Borgata? We will see. He's got a 9-10. He's going to raise to 800,000 to go into Jim, who has ace four. All in. He's going all in. David concedes. Nice all in bet by Jim there. That's the power of ace high playing heads up. You move in, you win a lot of pots. Looks a little nervous. He's got chips, but you just never know what's going to happen next. It's on him. Well, he's got a pretty strong ace nine. Now those raising chips makes it 800,000 with the min raise. Yeah, it's going to get the job done, though, as Jim goes out. David Pritt has been a pro for six years. Former lawyer, worked on Wall Street. Quit that to become a poker pro. Got a chance to win his first WPT title. Second time at the final table, and this could be his time. Jim Gilbert now with a pair of jacks. Since he's just calling, limping in on the buttons, hoping that... David has a hand, but does he have a hand? He has a pair of kings. Well, Vince, this is level to get raised, re-raised, all in. I'll be shocked if all the money's not in before the flop with these two hands. Raised to 1.2. All in. Call. Now, yeah, all in and called. Doesn't matter what seat you're sitting in, you're getting all your money in before the flop with either one of these hands. Good call. Playing heads up for the title. I got Jaybirds. David's in great shape to take home his first ever title. There's his wife, Caitlin. If David's kings hold up, he will be the king of the Borgata Poker Open. Five cards to come. Poker destiny on the line. Here's the flop. It's an 8-8 eight, eight deuce. Ooh. So far, so good for David. He's just got to dodge a jack or two running diamonds that's not the king of diamonds to put the crown on his head. The 36-year-old out of Brookline, Massachusetts, with a big chance. Ace of spades on the turn. Magnets work. Now yeah, down to the river. Jim Gilbert must catch a two-outer, must hit a jack on the river, otherwise David will take down his first WPT title. And it's a five of hearts, he's done it! <laughs> Final table was Chip Peter. Just wasn't quite meant to be for him, but really, he did great. Gonna take home 434,000. Before we talk to our champion, let's talk to the runner-up, Jim Gilbert. I came in as chip leader, but honestly, I can't say that I'm disappointed at all. Coming in second with the players that I was going up against is perfectly fine with me, and I think I did a good job of staying out of the way when I needed to and getting involved when I had to. I really held my composure, and I tried my best to fight back, and uh, I definitely think I uh, represented the locals pretty well here, and uh, hopefully I'll be under the lights again soon enough. And now, let's talk to the winner of the Borgata Poker Open from Brookline, Massachusetts, David Paredes. David, first of all, congratulations. It wasn't that long ago, right here at Borgata, that you were playing heads up for a WPT title and you finished runner-up. Tell us how much sweeter it is this time around that you crossed the finish line with the cash and the title. Last time, I felt like I didn't play my best heads up. Uh, I don't know if I let the pressure get to me but I really, really wanted to win this time. And I just told myself I wasn't gonna make any mistakes. I was just gonna play my game and do the best I could because I really wanted that title. It means a lot to me. 
Well, you sure did. Your strategy was perfect. Your game was perfect. And you are the WPT champion at the Borgata Poker Open. Congratulations one more time. In addition to over $723,000 in cash that you win, you also get this beautiful Hublot watch to commemorate your victory and your name etched forever on the WPT Champions Cup. Let's hear it one more time for our champion, David Paredes.